We want to take you to Sky Eye right now. These are live pictures. Look like there's some pretty decent speed here. HPD pursuing this black pickup truck. This is in the Heights area. Again, this is live footage from Sky Eye. We're told this is a chase involving Houston police pursuing this black pickup truck. You can see on your screen, we're told that this is in the Heights area. You might have just seen a, a white sedan pull out of the way as it appears that this vehicle is making some pretty decent headway through the neighborhood. Took it took that turn to pretty decent speed. Again, we're told that this is in the Heights area. HPD pursuing this black pickup truck. As soon as we gather some more details, we will certainly share them with you both on air and online. This black pickup truck, as you can see, appears to be making its way through the neighborhood. Just ducked out of uh, ducked out of camera view. And now you can see the HPD cruiser appearing to go and uh, trying to just follow this black pickup truck through what appears to be a neighborhood this type of subdivision. You can see some houses, tight streets, not exactly four lane roads there. Uh, as we can see, uh, now we've got a, a bit of a map to help you figure out exactly where this is in the Heights area. HPD pursuing this black pickup truck. At this time, we don't know why police are pursuing this driver. We don't know how long this has been going on, but as you can see, the truck just took a left on Carver Road. And when we first picked up this video for you, it appeared that the truck was uh, moving at a pretty high rate of speed, especially for a, a neighborhood. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the latest right there, HPD, it's on Carver Road in the Heights area. We're told pursuing this black pickup truck as of now, we do not know anything about what started this chase, how long it's been going on, what the driver may or may not have been doing to ignite this pursuit. And we also aren't quite sure just how many vehicles authorities are currently pursuing this pickup truck, but you are looking live at Sky Eye following what we're told is a police chase, HPD chasing this black police truck. You're looking at images from Sky Eye. Let's now gather some more details. We pick up the report live from the air. What you got for us? Well, uh, this is Don Armstrong reporting from Sky Eye. Yes, a high rate of speed through a neighborhood is never a good thing. And uh, I'm guesstimating about 60 miles an hour here. And uh, as you mentioned, this was Carver there, just past another HPD cruiser that uh, is trying to get this truck stopped. Looks like a uh, late model Ford Chevy pickup, not quite sure, can't tell what kind of pickup, but to travel at a high rate of speed. Now, uh, police have been pursuing this truck for about 10 minutes uh, through the uh, Pinemont 290 area, 34th Street, that area. We're not too far from there. We're over uh, in the uh, northern part of the Heights area. As you can see, uh, SkyMac will bring you, if we can slow down just a little bit, uh, it'll bring you uh, the actual streets that this chase is currently on. Now, we counted about five, six units HPD pursuing. Let's see what happens here. Why is he stopping? He may have been blocked. Reverse through an intersection, and HPD will be here momentarily because they have not stopped. And HPD helicopter is up here with us as well. So if we lose him from time to time, going into a driveway and through a yard, hopefully it won't be long and they'll bring this pursuit to an end. But as you can see, uh, tearing up yards uh, on this street over here, uh, this is a Venus street. This is probably going to end it here because this is a big ditch. Nope, the truck made it through. This will eventually end. Uh, this is uh, obviously a two-way street here, and uh, these never end good, especially at a high rate of speed. Um, I can't imagine why this person wouldn't stop, because they're not going to win this, this race, if you will, to be caught. Because um, as you can tell, oh, spun out right there. I think HPD clipped him in the rear. Let's see what happens here. Lots of police cars in the area now. Won't be long before this comes to a close. It looked like a uh, school that we just went through the front of uh, one of those 
school pickup areas. And as you can see, he's going so fast that he's fishtailing the truck. Again, long, slow curves through this particular neighborhood. But um, so far, he's been able to elude Houston police. We are in Sky Eye this afternoon over the northwest part of Houston uh, through a lot of residential neighborhoods. School apparently has just let out. A lot of school buses in the area. That's always worrisome, especially in a police chase like this. Busy street here. This is West Gulf Bank. Looks like we're heading eastbound on Gulf Bank. Am I correct? My pilot today is James Fox. Okay, yeah, Gulf. Is it eastbound, James? Yeah, east, eastbound. Okay, so uh, we're coming up with some major intersections here. Very busy. Now going the wrong way on Gulf Bank. Uh, a very scary situation here. A big divided four-lane street going the wrong way. Let's hope that this doesn't end like we fear. We continue to monitor this with HPD helicopter and a lot of patrol units following this chase suspect in the black pickup truck. Almost caught the side of that car right there through the intersection. Sixty miles an hour, seventy miles an hour. Back out and give you an idea of here we are, West Montgomery, northwest part of Houston. Very high rate of speed. 60, 70. Looks like maybe hitting 80 miles an hour. There. A crash wrecked a truck and another vehicle trying to get away looks there it's going to end now he's lost a wheel on the run is it a female it could be a female in the backyard going through backyards lost them under the trees well hopefully we'll get this back here in just a moment but the chase has finally come to an end here in the backyard of a neighborhood in Northwest Houston. On the ground, on the ground. Looks like it's finally come to an end.